hi guys hope you're all okay today i have got a sainsbury's food haul to share with you um ruben is currently asleep thank jesus um but if he wakes up he might join us uh, before i get into the video i just kind of feel like i need to address a few things um apologies that the upload has been a little bit ad hoc uh, i did say in a video a couple of months ago that ruben will always be the priority and youtube is just a hobby um and yeah just just trying to still balance things um not gonna lie the last couple of weeks have been a bit of a struggle not looking for sympathy i know i am blessed <laughs> ruben is a blessing and it's a privilege to be his mummy um but the last two weeks have been a bit hard um Ruben has a cold at the moment, it's just a little one, um, and either I'm catching the cold or the fact that he's not sleeping is, and meaning I'm not sleeping is kind of catching up with me, so yeah, things are just a bit much at the moment, I'm kind of slightly struggling, but it's okay, it's okay, but I did kind of work out I'm actually getting less sleep now than I did when Ruben was a newborn. <sighs> Um, yeah, I say he's got a cold at the moment, so it's extreme. But last night he went to bed at quarter past ten, where well, he normally goes to bed at half seven, and then he woke up at uh 4 55 and he didn't go back down till 10 o'clock. Um, and the only way he can be happy today is if he's lying on me, so it's been quite hard, <laughs> but. Yeah, I'm not looking for sympathy because Ruben is, is the most rewarding, most blessed thing in in in, the, in my world. Can't speak for everybody's world. Um, but yeah, I am tired and struggling with the mummy, wife, work, life balance right now. So uh, YouTube is not getting the attention it deserves and if you find that frustrating when people don't upload when they should I apologize and if you wish to unsubscribe I understand um, if you stick around thanks I will try and get better Whew. it's like therapy isn't it so yes I'm exhausted <laughs> there has not been enough sleep in my life this week we've been in I think for the last 10 14 days we've been has got up before half five every day um yeah i think it was monday i drank so much coffee i gave myself the shakes but i was still tired <laughs> it's it, it it'll be fine it'll be fine we'll get there this is mum life <laughs> but yeah sainsbury shopping i'm looking at it i don't feel like i got a lot of stuff for my money um, so the receipt amount was £89.53p, I have sent things back, um, the things I've sent back, so I'd ordered four bottles of caffeine free diet Pepsi, they substituted them for four bottles of Pepsi Max, um, I'm fine with Pepsi Max, John isn't a fan, so I sent two bottles back, um, and then we'll just pick up some normal stuff for John elsewhere. I also, the king size pot noodles, I know how to treat myself, that was the plan for lunch today, um, the king size pot noodles were on offer so I ordered one of them and they substituted it for two of the normal size, um, but I don't need two so I sent one back. Um, all the other substitutions I kept so I'll show you those as I go along. Um, I had one thing that had a short date, which I kept because I've got room in the freezer for it. Uh, I ordered some cake sparklers um, in preparation for Ruben's birthday, uh, but they were out of stock and they didn't have a suitable substitution, so they've not come. Um, is that everything? Oh, they had freebies on the website. They had some posh looking dairy free chocolate, uh, but there was no stock of that available in, in my store. And then they had some rather posh looking tonic sparkling water stuff that is to go in gin. Um, but again, they didn't have any, I, I don't drink gin. 
Um, and the food rack doesn't accept alcohol, but I'm guessing they would accept tonic water because technically it's not alcohol. But they had none, they didn't have any in stock. Uh, at our branch anyway. I don't know what's up with the hand. My eye is twitchy from the caffeine or lack of sleep, one or the other. So yeah, uh, delivery driver was nice, old chap, a bit funny. He, he was telling me that he's, uh, he's only been there a month, um, but he, he repeatedly told me how hard it was to find my house. Um, he's lived in Cornwall for 20 years. Uh, um, he lived in Falmouth. Um, he's never been to this part of Cornwall. And I'm like, Falmouth isn't that far away, like not last weekend, but the weekend before we went to Falmouth for brunch. <laughs> um, it's like down the road a bit, but yeah, he's like, oh, I don't come to this part of the county. Well, you do, but he was very nice. He was just, I think he was just kind of trying to make up for the fact that he was, wasn't late, he was just at the end of the window time frame. if that makes sense. Right, I'm going to stop rambling and show you the shopping. And there is the overview, and as I said, it doesn't feel like 80 quid's worth of shopping. Not really. Right, let's get into it. Um, so these are the two Pepsi Max that I kept. Um, as I said, we're going to just have to pick up John normal Pepsi or Coke from somewhere else. And then I'd also ordered myself a cherry Pepsi Max. So yeah, that's our pop scenario. Uh, this one was a substitution. Um, I ordered duck action gel. Uh, I'm, I think I just ordered a different scent. I think I just ordered, I think I ordered the blue one. They sent me the pink one. Um, I don't sniff my toilet that often, so I don't really care. Uh, and we've got some wash, um, Ruben's uh, washing gel. So this is what we use on his clothes washing up liquid i feel like i've bought washing up liquid for like every week for the last three weeks there must be like other john's <laughs> taking some down to the garage or there must be a stash at the back of the cupboard because we don't go through a bottle a week but seem to be going through it quite quickly uh, i got some clean and clear deep cleansing lotion um i've kind of been using this for a few months now uh my posh stuff wasn't doing the job of my uh post baby skin uh this seems to be helping kinda um ran out of fry light this week so i got one of this i got the extra virgin olive oil version um this is really good this is kansas barbecue sauce uh both john and i like it it is sweet but there is some spice to it but not too spicy if that makes sense um ran out of salt this week Literally last night, had a under-seasoned, no, what do we, last night, no, the night before last, we had a rather under-seasoned risotto, or a, a risotto that lacked, that lacked salt, shall we say, but yeah. Uh, Heinz first steps dinner, cauliflower and broccoli cheese for Reuben, there's another one of those somewhere, cherry tomatoes. And then we've got some mashed potato. Um, oh, multiple layers here. We've got some French roux, le roux, this garlic soft cheese. Um, some turkey chunks. Uh, we've got some gravy. This is the Bisto less salt one. We've got some yogurts. These are not the ones I ordered. These are a substitution, but I've checked the size, um, the ingredients, and there's not anything too scary in them so yeah these are a substitution but I've kept them for Reuben and then my falafel addiction continues um, some Walker snacks they're basically Pringo Pringles by a different name uh, some mushrooms grapes pot of noodle I've already shown you crispy potato slices some mange two and baby corn custard tarts to uh, cheer me and Reuben up today. Reuben likes it. He won't eat the pastry, but he likes the filling. So, yeah. Yum. 
about. Oh, this is the other tub for Ruben, the cheesy veg pasta. He likes that one a lot. Got a tin of Heinz baked beans. Um, I'm like had we had the sugar free ones the other day, the Heinz ones, and I think they've changed the recipe because they weren't as nice as normal. So we've gone back to the uh, full sugar. I said crispy potatoes. <laughs> Coleslaw. Um, oh. I ordered the sunflowers again because they, they lasted really well and these are all closed really tightly so they should last like oh sorry they should last ages hopefully um hot dog roll bananas crushed salad that I've got no one to blame but myself for doing um, then we've got one of these, that's my bananas on the floor, um, Heinz Creation Spanish Beans, um, I like these in wraps, uh, I like this um, cooked with mince and done with rice, uh, last time we had this I ended up doing it on the top and of chips and making dirty chips, it's really, it's really versatile I think. Multipack of ready salted crisps, John loves these chilli rice crackers, they're good. They do give you a bit of a mouth, if you know what I mean. It's like spicy. Pretzels for me, Doritos, a uh, big block of cheese, steak for John, pan of chocolate, tea cakes. Ruben loves them. Um, and yeah, because he's kind of been a bit off his food. I'm like, well, let's try them on tea cakes. Um, so yeah. And then there's some bread there. I've like ordered <laughs> all the bread goods. We've got tortilla wraps, apples, pears, carrots, all of Ruben's favourite things. Um, we've got some bacon, sausages. We had these sausages last week. They're really yummy. Ruben likes them. Um, yeah, they went down really well. <laughs> Sounds really silly, this. I like them also because they're already cut, you don't, they don't have the little thing in between that you have to cut, you know what I mean? Just make cooking easier. Oh, there is some king prawns. Oh, this was a substitution. I ordered chocolate pretzels and they sent me Mikado Dime and I'm not going to lie, I prefer this to that, so happy. We've got some scones, uh, we've got clotted cream left over in the fridge, so winner. Reduced fat beef burgers, these are really good. I rate them. This is my low short date item. Um, some beef mince, but I say you can go straight in the freezer. Pork loin steaks. Oh, you can tell I was tired because I made a bit of a boo-boo on, on the meal plan this week. Basically, we've got barbecue pork twice. <laughs> um, so something's going to have to go in the freezer and I'll have to make a freezer meal. Like, we've got pierogi and fish and things in, in the freezer so so things don't happen to be too repetitive but yeah in my tired state I put barbecue pork on the system twice completely different ways so like one <laughs> to be done with loin steaks slow cooked um with like cheese and stuff and one kind of already prepared <laughs> to be done with some shredded veg and to be served in wraps with cheese but yeah, it wasn't until after I looked at my order again this morning I realised that I'd basically ordered barbecue pork twice. Um, but yeah, I'm blaming a lack of sleep for that. Uh, lunch and meat for the puppy dogs, ham for sandwiches, and then my only frozen thing was peas. And there we go, Ruben slept through it. Let's hope he'll sleep through the putting away process. Uh, but that's this week's shopping. Um, as I said, it doesn't feel like 89 pounds or 80 odd pounds worth of volume um but i just think everywhere is more expensive now i kind of remember when me and john first moved to this place i used to do or when i first started doing food hauls on on youtube i used to do bi-weekly food hauls and like i'd have asda um, and i'd buy two weeks worth of groceries and it'd be like 120 pounds and granted at that point in my life 
I wasn't quite as switched on with dates of things and we did end up throwing away food and you know the veg all tend to go bad before you eat it but like 120 pounds bought a lot of stuff and yes we're going to a slightly more expensive supermarket now but I'm just like this doesn't feel the volume for your money but I kind of from what I've seen for other people's hauls unless you go places like Lidl or Audi or I think there's a place like I've seen a couple of people do is it farm food hauls uh they seem extremely cheap um yeah it is what it is we will all be have full tummies from this so we are privileged and lucky and blessed right i hope you guys are doing okay i hope you are enjoying your summer if it feels like somewhere you live i get a bit confused because some of the ladies i follow on instagram like they're over in the states and their kids have all gone back to school this week and it's like it's only just well it's like the 12th of august at the point of recording this but it's like quite sure the kids here don't go back until the first week of September I'm not sure but it just feels like their summer has ended really early if they go back to school in all like at the beginning of August but yeah I hope you're all doing well and uh, catching rest where you can <laughs> uh, and well done if you made it to the end of this rumbly incon inc inc oh, I can't even speak well done if you made it to the end of this video I know it's a ramble. The struggle is real. But yes, take care guys, stay safe, and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.